This is Vigilante, the hip hop ologist for ReasonForRhymes.com, and also Your Black World. I am pr- privileged to have from the West Coast, West Coast Stone. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm just in here hanging out, man. Um, taking out your trailer and um stuff like that, man, and and um watching you. You know, talk about producers and stuff, man, and, and I'm, I'm digging the beats, the sound, man. I've been uh, put up on you for a long time, man. It's kind of tell the world um, how you got into this music scene and um, and the things that you do, and we can get into it, because, man, you're multi-talented, man. You play, you know, guitar, keyboards. I was watching, man. You used to do a whole lot of stuff before you got, you know, you know, in, in, immersed into hip-hop, man. Kind of let people know about that. Yeah, well, you know, I started playing music since I was six years old, started playing instruments, and then when I turned, like, maybe, like, 15, I started getting to the big studios and, and, and going to the studios with my Uncle George Clinton. I started going, um, seeing him do things and stuff, and then until I got, like, 17, I started off on the studio with Snoop, and then mm-hmm. Snoop really in- introduced me to, like, the, as far as the business, you know what I'm saying, side of the music. So then I just started picking it up from there and kind of just took the ball and ran with it. Yeah, man, and and, and that's the thing, man. Elsa, I tell you, I was in, um, you know, I'm in Kansas City, and a good friend of mine, Troy McIntosh, man, put me on to you, man. Uh, he said, man, you got you got to meet, you got to meet, um, bro, man, bro is nice, man. And I was like, let me check him out. And I was checking you out, man. At one time, I want to say you was over in Japan or something. Yeah, yeah, I went over to Japan. It was pretty nice. Yeah, how was that trip, man? <laughs> it was been uh, 20, 22 hours overseas. <laughs> so, we, got, we got there. It was cool, man. I mean, they really, and the thing out there is they really appreciate our music over here. So, you know what I'm saying? So when you get it out there, you know, you can really get around the world, get the people to really hearing your music, you know, you'd be like, man, they really like my stuff. Like, oh, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. right, it's a whole different thing, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Now, also, uh, um, you, you you got this trailer. I do want to promote that. You got this trailer that I just saw, man. And um, kind of tell people your 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 whole thing behind this, man. Kind of like a reality um type of thing. Let people know the reason why you did it. Because I saw you talking about, you know, the producers put a lot of um, MCs on. I'm an MC, and I definitely understand that the producers are the cornerstone of getting your stuff out, man. Kind of expand on that, bro. Well, it's like I'm not, you know, jumping on the artists or nothing because, you know, we all work together. But it's like, you know, as far as a producer, we don't get a lot of recognition for things. And as you see, like your video come out or whatever, you know, they talk about, you know, a Lil Wayne video or a Drake video. You know what I'm saying? But it's never, no, they never say who produced the track. They never give them, put them on, you know what I'm saying, on the storefront. For them to say, hey, this person, you know, uh, gets the right to get their shine too. And a, a lot of them is hot, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I've been working for a long time doing this, man. And it's time to get my recognition, man. I tell them, either you give me my respect or I take it. So right <laughs> now, I'm taking it. Cause ain't nobody want to give it to me, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna bash the world with this music and they're gonna recognize me. Trust me. I got, and oh, yeah. I'm doing this, I'm doing this trailer. You know what I'm saying? Um, I put the trailer out because I'm starting to do this reality show of all uh, just, uh, as far as producers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as me pretending here producing how hard the work is, how hard everything is to get it done, you know what I mean? And try to get support from more of the producers, you know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt, man. And that's the thing about me, man. You know, like, you know, I'm, I'm hip hop to the core on both sides, all sides. And I think that rap sometimes, you know, especially, uh, I'm an MC, so uh, especially us sometimes tend to forget the whole setup, the whole how you cook the pot up, cook it up, and then all we do is serve the dope, but nobody tells you how you cook the crack up, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I think that producers need to get that respect, and sometimes you even see it with bigger producers' name, but then you find out later that it was producers like you that was in there with that name, and then they get the credit, and y'all don't. 
You know, I've noticed that over the years. Well, it don't. And I'm glad you're doing this, man, coming forward to let people know. It's almost like back in the 80s, man. In the 90s, you had people shouting out the DJ. When the DJ was putting the music out, they had a thing to let the DJs know. Now, everybody want to be secretive about it. And to me, man, you're a great producer. You might, you know, I don't know if it's, it's just some rappers just don't want to share the money or nobody else to get their produce. But to me, it don't make sense. And I'm glad you you are speaking out, man. So, do um, tell us something. Some of your uh, upcoming projects that you have out besides the trailer. Any guys you um, produce lately? Yeah, um, right now I'm doing uh, Killer Tay's new album, Sebo's new album. I just put out the best of West Coast Stone. Um, I did some stuff with George Clinton. Um, I just did some stuff with Bobby Valentino. Oh. Um, man. I did. Let's go. Try to remember everybody. I did a single with Sugar Free and E40. I just did another single with Sugar Free. Um, man, and the list goes on, man. I just, I actually, I just dropped. I just did four albums in three months. So. Man, your grind is hard, man. That's what I'm talking about. You're grinding, and, and you're bringing out a lot of West Coast um, legends. Man, the name Sugar Free and all them guys, those guys are vintage 90s, you know what I'm saying, and and late 80s um, legends, man. Sebo, you know, Sebo was big up in Kansas City. And uh, um, E-40, you know, getting much love because, you know, the Bay in Kansas City, man, got a real good connection. You know, like Risk the Factor and all those um, people. Um, oh, yeah, out there that's do that shout out, yeah, definitely shout out to Risk the Factor. You know what I'm saying? We ended up making it, doing some new stuff right now, too, so. Oh, yeah, so definitely, man. So, like I said, man, I'm glad Troy. Troy don't like this one, man. I'm glad he uh, told me about you and uh, put me up on you, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, doing your thing, man. I'm glad you um, came to bless, you know, your black world and reason for rhymes, man. We'd like to keep in touch with you, man, and uh, definitely promote your stuff and keep it going, man. I think we all got to stick together, and hip-hop needs to stick together, man. And this music, you know, before we lose out to the pop world, man, because I think everybody's trying to go pop, and we're forgetting about the soul of music. Man, and to me, one of the souls of music are the producers. Right. You know, right. y'all dictate right. the music. And then, by you being an artist, man, what I mean by that, not only get a person that can sample or something, but to actually play the instrument, I like to get your take on it because I know a lot of real musicians don't like these so called cookie cutter uh, musicians. So, how do you feel about it? Or it don't matter as long as you got an ear for it because I also saw that you can play by ear, and that's a gift, brother. Right, right. You know, some I look at it like this. Uh, some people, you know, are are blessed to do certain things. And in my occasion, God has blessed me with the gift, man, uh, the talent that I have to play all these instruments, to have the ear for this, and it's a wonderful blessing that he blessed me with. But for the, all the other artists that does beats and, and, you know, and they still do their thing, man. And it's a good thing. But if you ever go on sample or do anything, my suggestion is to listen to the sample and try to replay it and twist yep. it in your own way. You know what I'm saying? So it won't sound like the sample because people appreciate it more if you put your own sample in it. And you know who told me that? Battle Cat. Battle Cat is a real close and more friend of mine. And he okay. told me that one time and he told me, he said, man, if you're going to sample somebody's stuff, do it better than what the out that record sound like. Man, that's that's some jewels. Some of the young um, producers just listening right now, man. That's that's real spit, man. I'm glad you're giving that out, man. And um, like I say, man, we're gonna follow you, man. Tell people where they can find you at um, West Coast. You can find me on Facebook, West Coast, uh, West Coast Space Bar Stone, Twitter three one zero Stone on Twitter, uh, YouTube. My cool, you can Google me, West Coast Stone, uh, I mean, West Coast Music dot 310, you know what I'm saying, on, on uh, Gmail, and, um, and I'm here, man, you know, I'm just here. You can Google me, too, Google West Coast Stone, I'm, you can find me anywhere. Oh, yeah, I, I appreciate it, man. I love to keep in touch with you, Ryan. I am going to keep in touch with you, man, and um, we thank you for um, coming on, man, and this has been Vigilante for Hip Hop, uh, Reason for Rhymes, and also Your Black World, man. Thank you for coming, brother, and we'll get with you, bro. Hey, man, I love it, man. Hey, you out there in Kansas City, right? Shout out to Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? My mom and my little sister and my brother's out there, man. So shout out to them, man. And, you know, Troy McIntosh is my family. You know what it is, man. I'm out here grinding, man. For sure, man. For sure, man. And we out.